Hey guys, Tom Knezik here, and I want to show you some of the stuff that's blooming right here at our Pinelands Nursery Seed Farm. Uh, we're going to start with one of my favorites, which is Great Blue Lobelia, also known as Lobelia syphilitica, and a uh, really cool plant. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with the cardinal flower, which uh, is in the same family, also a, a Lobelia. That one's Lobelia cardinalis, um, but it's a cool plant. Tends to like it pretty wet. But in this case, we're drying it, growing it in a pretty dry field. Uh, and you can see, if I can find one, there are some bees that are really loving this plant right now. So really nice plant, especially if you have a rain garden or, or some kind of wet meadow. It's a, a perfect addition. So really cool one there. Let's find something else. All right, next up we have another really cool flower here and that is Monarda punctata which uh tends to like it a little bit drier or quite a bit drier than Lobelia does one of the reasons it's one of my favorites is it attracts some really cool pollinators so it's not uncommon to find uh, a bunch of different wasps that like to pollinate this like golden alexanders and there's some blue wasps i can't remember the name um Monarda punctata the common name for this plant is spotted horseman and um if I can catch them, there's a, a honeybee down here. Not sure if he's on the camera or not, but there's some really cool pollinators. From a distance, it's probably not the most beautiful flower, but they are really unique and intricate when you get up close. And that's one of the reasons I like them so much. All right, next up, we have some of our Joe Pie weed here. So another awesome, awesome flower for rain gardens. They can get pretty tall, uh, these are probably getting close to seven feet in some places, but is an awesome flower. Uh, another great native plant used in rain gardens. They're great for pollinators like that monarch right there. One of the reasons I love them so much is these big flower heads make, uh, they're almost like helicopter landing pads for butterflies. Um, some of the greatest pictures that I've gotten of, of butterflies have all come on Joe Pie weed, frankly, because they look like that. So, and they're huge. Like I'm, I'm over six feet and they're towering over me. So we got one more to show you today and, uh, and then we'll move on. So let's get to it. So last but not least, we have our showstopper. Uh, this is Rudbeckia fulgida. We call it orange cone flower. Some people in the horticultural trade call it uh, perennial black-eyed Susan, which uh, black-eyed Susan is something we call, use the name for Rudbeckia herta. So, but this is just amazing right now. Look at how awesome this looks in mass. Um, they look really, really good on their own. So just a single plant really can get about two, three feet across and, um, and you'll get all these yellow or orange flower heads on them. But uh, awesome to plant in mass as well and or in swaths and you can kind of see how that'll look here when you get all those flowers just all together. It's really amazing. And this has been blooming like this for probably getting close to a month now. So they are a long lasting perennial in, a, in your garden or landscape restoration job. Really something can draw a lot of eyes and, a, and really attract a lot of people and insects to, uh, to a restoration project or, or a landscape design. So hope you guys enjoyed that. We love having you guys here at our farm. And uh, I'm hoping to do a lot more of these as the season goes on because it's pretty cool getting to be out here every day. So thanks. Bye.